the United States has had more than 6.3 million confirmed cases of COVID-19. And while transmission rates have declined from their peak in July, there are still new hotspots popping up all over the country, most recently on newly reopened college campuses. Across the country, more universities temporarily switching to virtual learning, with only some students staying on campus, as college towns around the country are quickly becoming epicenters for the virus. In Georgia, Mississippi, and Utah, thousands of students and hundreds of teachers have recently been asked to quarantine. Many universities are taking drastic action to ensure that students, teachers, and staff, that they're safe all along the way. And one of the harshest punishments imposed to date, 11 first-year students at Boston's North Northeastern University were dismissed and declined a refund for their $36,000 plus dollar tuition after crowding together in a hotel room. That's right. Some schools are kicking out students for partying, but keeping their tuition, which is insane. I mean, if you waste 36 grand on college, you should at least leave with a communications degree. And I do hope colleges get all these outbreaks under control soon because Going to college remotely is just not the same. There are so many things about the college experience that only work if you're there in person. I mean, imagine, imagine trying to do a frat hazing on Zoom. Now grab your bottle of hot sauce from your fridge and chug it. Uh, I don't have hot sauce, but I have apricot LaCroix. I can chug that. Yeah, you damn right you'll chug it. Get ready to feel refreshed, bitch. Anyway, uh, if you're a high school senior right now, there is only one thing you should be looking for when applying to colleges. Find out which schools avoided coronavirus outbreaks and do not apply there. Most people do not know how to party. So this is just one more reason that we really can't have a vaccine soon enough. But another problem is that we also can't get one too soon. The latest CBS News poll finds the majority of Americans are skeptical about a vaccine. 65% say if one became available this year, they'd consider it rushed. And 58% say they would consider getting one, but, but wait to see what happens. Kamala Harris was asked if she would trust a Trump administration vaccine. It would have to be a credible source of information that talks about the, um, the efficacy and the, and the reliability of whatever he's talking about. I will not take his word for it. He wants us to inject bleach. I, no, I will not take his word. Look, I get why people are skeptical. There are a lot of things where I'll take Trump's recommendation. How to write an NDA, how to do the smooth criminal lead, where the set of stairs are too slippery. But vaccines is not one of his areas of expertise. Like, you don't want Trump involved in this deal. It's like going on Shark Tank and getting an offer from Robert. Yeah, you're just gonna be like, any other offers? <laughs> Mark, uh, Laurie? You know what, I'm, I'm good, guys. I'm just gonna go bankrupt. Thanks, thanks though, Robert, thanks for that. Either way, it's cute how people think it'll be up to them whether they get Trump's vaccine. Guys, it's gonna be up to Trump. And knowing him, he's gonna turn it into a quid pro quo. I'll give you one shot for one piece of dirt on Joe Biden. Huh? What do you say? What do you say? And let's be honest, this skepticism isn't just coming out of nowhere. President Trump has given people pretty good reasons to think that his timeline might not be based strictly on the science. During a Labor Day news conference that sounded more like a rally from the White House grounds, President Trump was all but giving away his own October surprise, suggesting there will be a coronavirus vaccine ready by Election Day. You could have a very big surprise coming up. So we're going to have a vaccine very soon, maybe even before a very special date. You know what date I'm talking about. Why is he talking about Election Day like it's a weird sex innuendo? You know what date I'm talking about. Gonna stick your big, hard vote in that ballot box. Just put it right in. I mean, obviously, we know what date he's talking about. What other date would Trump possibly remember besides Election Day? His kids' birthdays? His anniversary? A date from a history book? Trick question. He doesn't know any of those things. But this is why people are skeptical. Trump keeps talking about this vaccine as if the goal is to get it out before Election Day. And any normal president would at least pretend that the vaccine will be released based on science, but Trump doesn't even pretend. Guy's got the worst poker face in the world, which is why he would probably be the best and worst person to play poker with. Yeah, you'd always know when he was bluffing, so you'd probably beat him, but then there'd also be no point because he'd never pay up. Not to mention, he'd draw boobs on all the queen cards. So with Trump making everybody nervous, the companies competing to make the vaccine are actually getting together 
to try and calm all this shit down. A major development in the race to produce a coronavirus vaccine and something very unprecedented. Some of the country's most well-known drug makers now presenting a united front, saying they will not rush out a vaccine without proper testing and approval. These are some of the biggest pharmaceutical companies in the world. They are typically fierce competitors, but they are coming together with what they have called a historic pledge to try to shore up public confidence in a possible COVID-19 vaccine. The CEOs of nine pharmaceutical companies, including AstraZeneca, Johnson & Johnson, and Pfizer, say they will commit to high ethical standards and sound scientific principles as they work toward developing a vaccine. The statement includes a pledge to always make the safety and well-being of vaccinated individuals our top priority. Yes, people are so skeptical about this vaccine that the drug companies had to come out and pledge that they're not going to rush things. That's how bad Trump is. He's managed to make big pharma turn into the good guys. And that's saying something. I mean, Johnson & Johnson sold talcum powder that gave people cancer. AstraZeneca and Merck had to settle fraud claims by Medicare and Medicaid. Sanofi overcharged the Veteran Affairs Department. GlaxoSmithKline hid safety data from the FDA. Pfizer has that unnecessary P in it. I mean, that's unethical as shit. If I see a P followed by an F, that better be followed by a Chang's, otherwise I'm out. The point is, it is so important for people to trust that any vaccine that comes out is safe and effective before it is distributed. Because if a government rushes one out for political purposes, you get, well, something like what's happening in Russia right now. Russia's health ministry says the first batch of its so-called Sputnik V coronavirus vaccine has been produced for use in the general population. Health officials outside Russia, however, have raised concerns that the shot was approved even before clinical testing had finished last week. It's still unproven. It still hasn't finished uh, human trials. And as we found, it's still widely distrusted. It's been made available uh, to key frontline workers like doctors and teachers. But few, if any, of those Russian teachers have actually taken up the vaccination offer. Today, it is obvious for our scientists that this vaccine forms stable immune resistance. Antibodies appear in the blood, just like in the case of my daughter, and it is harmless. My daughter feels well. Yeah, guys, of course Putin's daughter feels well. She knows the consequences if she doesn't. Hey, maybe we don't need a vaccine at all. We just need Putin to go around issuing veiled threats to anyone who thinks they've got COVID. So do you have corona? Yet I, <laughs> I feel great, Mr. President. Now, it isn't surprising that Russians are hesitant to take this unproven vaccine, but Russian national pride is on the line here, which is probably why they've started promoting this vaccine with a brand new public service announcement. Are you tired of wearing masks? Are you sick of washing hands all day? Are you afraid COVID-19 will kill you before Putin has a chance to? Then try Mother Russia's new COVID vaccine, Sputnik V. Developed by same scientists who brought nation many glorious gold medals. It is guaranteed safe and effective. How do we know? Because it was tested on a bear by a scientist who was also a bear. Then we did clinical trials with many prisoners and the vaccine did not kill any of the ones who survived. And if you are coward afraid of needles, then don't worry. We will just slip it into your tea. <coughs> Sputnik 5. Take now so you can enjoy last few weeks of Russian summer. <laughs>